No. Scorpion. By defeating you, Sub-Zero, I have avenged the death of my family and clan. Now my soul can finally rest. Your soul will never rest, Scorpion. The Lin Kuei may have been responsible for your murder, but your family's true killer still remains free. If you are not the murderer, then who is? I am the one you seek. To defeat my nemesis, Sub-Zero, I needed the power of a Spectre. You've done my bidding well, Scorpion. But now I must return you to the Nether Realm. Never! Chi had led Scorpion to the palace of Shang Tsung. Scorpion entered the palace through a hidden passage. As he made his way through the lower levels, he was discovered by the two Oni he had previously encountered while in the Nether Realm. Shang Tsung had secretly allied with Molok and Draman as a backup defense against Quan Chi. The two Oni had been hidden in an underground chamber and were periodically fed mortals to keep them satisfied. Scorpion fought well, but was overpowered by Moloch and Draman. Although they could not consume the ninja specter, they devised another means for eliminating their foe that would satisfy their cruel nature. The Oni brought Scorpion before the portal to the heavens that Shang Tsung had tapped as a source of limitless souls. They hurled him into the Solnado, and his hellspawn body was ripped apart by the purity of that realm. The Elder Gods had transformed Scorpion into their weapon in order to defeat the Dragon King before his plans of domination unmade the realms. With his enhanced abilities, he tirelessly tracked Onaga through the realms until finally he cornered him in the Nexus. The Dragon King had many allies, but they were of no consequence. It was in fact Scorpion who was the true champion of the Elder Gods, the enforcer of their will. Only he could stop the menace that threatened all that exists. Only he could defeat the Dragon King. As the fire of Blaze was extinguished, 
What appeared in its place brought elation to Scorpion's tormented soul. His ninja clan, the Shirai Ryu, had been fully resurrected. Numbering in the thousands, they covered the surface of the pyramid awaiting Scorpion's command. Among them was Scorpion's wife and son. Their reunion was to be short-lived. The sorcerer Quan Chi suddenly appeared among them. He grabbed Scorpion's young son and disappeared through a portal to the Netherrealm. Enraged, Scorpion ordered his clan to hunt down the sorcerer. He will not rest until his son has been recovered and Quan Chi is dead. Though Dark Khan was defeated, his consciousness lived on. The Dark Lord's power and maliciousness found the perfect host in the body of the wrathful Scorpion. In the midst of his agony, Scorpion knew that he would soon be the most powerful creature in the universe, if he survived the transformation. Shao Kahn's death did nothing to relieve Scorpion's pain. The loss of his kin still weighed heavily upon him, for reasons he could neither explain nor understand. He was drawn to the home of the Shirai Ryu. Standing amid the rubble in solemn contemplation, Scorpion was visited by apparitions of his fallen comrades, who revealed the true mastermind behind their brutal deaths. Enraged, he returned to the Netherrealm. As the spirits of his kin immobilized Quan Chi, Scorpion slew him, finally avenging their deaths. The fool in the red cape had been dealt with. Now Scorpion would learn how he came to this place. Heretofore, only the sorcerer Quan Chi or the fallen elder god Shinnok could have summoned him. Scorpion's answers appeared in the form of Trigon, who accused Scorpion of deserting Trigon's demon army and stealing from him the glory of besting the High Counselor. The two faced each other in a titanic struggle. Scorpion emerged the victor and assumed control of Trigon's invasion force. Soon this strange new land would be his to rule. Remorse for his role in resurrecting Shinnok weighed heavily upon Scorpion's soul. His desire for vengeance had brought Earthrealm to the brink of destruction. Scorpion offered to perform Harakiri to atone for his offense. But Raiden suggested a more productive alternative. Instead of death, Raiden sentenced Scorpion to life. He imbued Scorpion with a small portion of the Jinsei's power, linking him to Earthrealm's essence. Scorpion and his Shirai Ryu clan would protect the Jinsei and Earthrealm forever. I made my future self a promise that I would not stay mired in the past. But once I controlled the hourglass, I could not keep that promise. I had to restore my family. Over and over, I crafted the sands of time. Yet in every new timeline, my family's tragedy repeated. I was powerless to change it. After eons, I learned the truth. Kronika was not alone. She was one of many titans, each more powerful and ancient than the Elder Gods. It is they who conspire against us. Myself, my family, we are pawns in their game. Why, I do not know. But I will find out, and then, I will have vengeance.